What's up everybody, BSports02 here, hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to round number 8 of the Animal FSRL Camping World Winter Series. Today we're live at the Eldora Speedway for the Aspen Dental Dirt Dash. Today, it's cutoff day. We go down from 42 drivers to making it, down to 8 drivers who will make the chase. 7 spots have been filled already, only 1 to go. <clears throat> If one of our seven drivers gets a win, that has a that has a win, gets their second win. So if I forget anyone, my apologies. But drivers such as let's see, who do we got? Um, let's find. Let's see here. They might be all in front. Uh, we'll see. Most we'll some of our seven drivers are not in here because they're not in charters. But if one of the seven drivers that like have a win gets their, get their second win of the season. For example, Jeff Bright. Uh, they'll become the number one seed in the chase, and then they'll give the eighth seed to a driver that does not have a win. But if one driver gets their first win of the season, they're in, they're in the chase. We have an eight-man equal field. So on the poll, for, and also I've decided we're not going to be doing heat races in Eldora compared to season one. I mean, I did like the last chance qualifier last season. I loved it, actually. However, though, I have decided to do the main event race because it would not be fair to anyone that was in like the top 10 points that did, did not have a win that did not make the main event. So I, so I decided to do the top 30 in points would be an Eldora, 31 back would not be it. So I'm sorry to those drivers such as Cole, Baker, Brad Stover, etc., Nathan Wazakiewicz, etc., etc., who did not make the race. And we have the poll, the 40 of Daniel Voyles, Brian Fox in the 13th starts in 2nd. Uh, before we go trackside for the command to start the entrance, I'm going to give you guys the onboards. So first off, we got the 4 truck of Isaac Nichols. The 9 of Harry Joe Arvin Alonzo. The 02 of Josh Bullitt. The 05 of William Brock. Got to go all the way down to your pole center, the 40 of Daniel Voyles. The 49 of Aiden Shepard. 63, Joseph Ramanock. 66, Davey Johnson. 71, Stuart Grant. And the 88 of Michael Gregory. Alright, let's go trackside for the command to start the engines. Drivers, start your engines! And the 30 trucks are all fired up. None of these drivers have Ricky Allen comes as we get to the green. This is actually a newer version of Eldora. This is the Eldora 2016 format. However, though, when we did testing for this, it was only single car racing. So I updated it with the INI from 2015. Folks, you're about to see some fireworks happen as they go down the back stretch. One of the smallest tracks we are on the NASCAR season. As a Rick Allen problem for the 51 Sebastian Torres with a blown engine, he's likely not to make the race. But the pace car makes a left hand turn to pit road. Fans are on their feet. The flag is in the starter's hands. We're racing at Eldora. Let's do this. Now here's the question. Will Sebastian Torres be able to get, get to Perot? Because he just got lapped. Nope, no wrecks happen. As they're side by side for the race lead. Jeff Bright to the lead. Boyle's in the wall. Here comes Elijah Gordon, the 24, to go for second. 
Joseph Brownrock in the 63 makes it 3 wide. Brownrock now looks for the race lead. Here comes the 71. Stuart Grant in the bottom. A dominant driver this season. It's Greg goes on the wall. 3 wide for the race lead. Colin Dutcher to the bottom. And I believe we have our first caution. Yes, we do. 49 around. Aiden Shepard. 21. Ferdinand Gabon in it. Racing back to the line. In the race lead will be Denton in that 75. Brian Webb will be second. Michael Kelly, Michael Gregory with a lot of damage. Who else got damaged? The 49 truck, Aiden Shepard, the 4, I believe, had damage. Let's take a look and see what happened in this wreck. 88, luckily done for today. No, he's pitting. Alright, could this have been coming off turn 4? So, yeah, so the 40 gets into the 81, and there's this huge chain. Oh, the 6 truck got into the wall, but then the 49 got turned from the 82 of Zachary Fitzwater. Then Brian Webb didn't know where to go, Fernand Gabot didn't know where to go. Benny Watson, a good job to miss that one. And then a rock involving the 6 and the 88. Watch that 6 real closely again. In the wall he goes. And then it was slowing down for the caution, then got turned by the 80 of Gregory. On board with the 49 of Aiden Shepard. not have any safer barriers. Gregory has to hunt off that race car. As let's see, we're gonna get one lap to go at the green flag. I don't think so yet. But on a caution, Colin Denton, the race leader at Odora, will be back. Welcome back to Odora underneath the first caution for a spin involving Aiden Shepard, Michael Gregory, Michael Kelly, and Fernand Gabat. Check the leaderboard right now. The sixth truck out of the race. The 88 will be lining up on the inside line. One lap down. Sebastian Torres out of the race as well. Torres, I believe, won a race earlier this season. If not, I think that was from a, a fall series race. I don't know. I haven't done this in like a month. Michael Kelly out of the chase as well. So, Colin Dead to leads. Ryan Webb second. Stuart Grant in third. Ty Lyman fourth. Elijah Gordon fifth. Green flag back in the air. 88. What's the top two? Top three? Top four? Top three, top four go by. Good start by them. As it's single fire racing down the back switch, but it's guaranteed to change as they end on turn three. 19, is he going to take a look to the low line? Yes, he is. For the race lead, Dunton goes in the wall. The side by side. Well, to the point, and Dunton scraping that wall big time. You're going to see a lot of drivers hit the wall. Oh, trouble! And Dunton on his side. Cody Prince in it. Eli Bright in it as well. Caution is out for the second time today. Race leader is going to be the 22. Denton Bright. Bright's got the engine blown up. He is out of, going to be out of the chase. So Kyle Jarrell and Alonzo might have some left side damage. Cody Prince was in it. So let's take a look what happened. So we're going to watch this from the blimp this time. Looks like four wide racing. The 07 was just stuck between the 75 and the 21 because the 07 and the 21 were racing for a position. Then the 75 was scraping the wall, had nowhere to go. I thought that 75 was going over. Prince is in it. Denton looks like he will be done for the day. Then Eli Bray took a lick right there. I mean, that wasn't a hard lick. Oh. 44 truck, Simon Nichols also in the wall. Alonzo did get damaged. He got he spun when he hit the 8. Then Brian Fox also in it, just taps the 9. 
Classic Eldora rating at its finest, folks. Going on board with the Nine Truck, he was racing his teammate, the Four of Isaac Nichols, for I believe the 27th position. The 28th. 20, yeah, 20, or 26th. So it's like Alonzo's hopes are done, maybe. Anyway, a few more drives out of the race. 44 is out, 75 is out, the 8 is out. They're going to be out of the chase. I believe the 75 might have won the race. I don't think he did at all. But anyway, <clears throat> under caution, we'll be back for the restart. Getting ready to get back to the restart here at Outdoor underneath the second caution for Colin Denton, Eli Bray, here, Jarvin Alonzo, and others. Uh, don't forget, this is a 35 lap race. We're going to have 20 laps to go when we get back to the green flag. Gregory still lines up on the low line. Ty Lyman leads. Brian Webb second. Stuart Grant in third. Andre Baranaskis fifth. Brown fourth. Jim Shorts fifth. Davey Johnson sixth. Elijah Gordon seventh. Josh Nichols eighth. Daniel Voyles ninth. Joseph Romnick is tenth. Back to green we go. Lyman, a great start for him. Brian Webb did not get going. Baranoskis underneath the 71 for third. Dive bombs into the corner. Lyman in the wall. Here comes the 19 of Brian Webb. Webb takes the race lead away. Baranoskis the second, the three wide for the third spot. Lyman scraping that wall still. He's riding it. Baranoskis to the bottom for the race lead. Well, I think he gets in the wall. Yes, he does. Jim Shorts the second. I believe we have another caution. No, we don't. Here comes a 40 truck, Daniel Voyles. And now three wide for the second spot. Here comes the 66, Davey Johnson. The points that he in the race, entering this race. He goes to the point. And now we're three wide for the fourth spot. Look at the dive bomb Emily Anderson makes. See what Anderson does on Baranos gets. Here we go for the race lead. Jim Schwartz and Davey Johnson. Johnson goes in the wall. Schwartz takes it. Emily Anderson took a luck. And the caution flag is out. I don't think it was for her though. We'll have to see what race control team the caution came out for. But right now all we know is that the race leader is that 17 truck of Jim Schwartz. If we can find him. There he is. He's stuck. So let's take a look and see what happened. Let's, w let's watch the pace car when the lights come on. Okay, that's the pace truck. So first when the lights come on, about right here. So let's take a look. Oh, here we go. We got the spin between the 22 and the 07. Oh, Lyman and Nichols just got together, around they went. Oh, Fernand got bought into the 22. Luckily no one else was involved in that rack. We got no onboards for these drivers, and someone else is blown up, who is that? Oh, Elijah Gordon, running in the 8th position. Has a problem, he was just leaking fluid earlier. He's still leaking it now. What? A sh Did he hit something? Let's look. Oops. They keep doing that. What the heck? Nope, that truck just started blowing up. What a shame for the Iron Man. He is going to be out of the chase, looks like. And... Some stack up issues it looks like going on. Some of these guys are taking their free pass. They're waiting around. I think these guys are just trying to get back on the lead lap because a lot of these drives are left. Elijah going with the gearbox issues takes him out of the race and and he will not be winning a championship this season, it looks like. Ferdinand Gabat is retired from the race as well. So we're going to have one lap to go when we get to the green flag. It's going to be 11 
Nope, sorry, two laps to go. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back underneath the third caution of the day for a wreck involving Ty Lyman, Josh Nichols, and others. Got some drivers who came back on the late lap. It's going to be an interesting race drive seeing what happens here. But all these drivers are just stacked up. This is not in the place they need to be. Or some of them are just a lap down. They're just trying to get back going. That's what I think. If we have controversy on this restart, it would not be good. And everyone's back on the lead lap where they need to be. Here we go for the restart. Right. Good start by Jim Schwartz in that 17 truck. Baranowski is underneath the 33 for fourth. Now does the 33 have damage that could affect her race car? That's interesting. Because she took her hard hit in the wall as Davey Johnson goes to the race lead. There's Jeff Burr in the 23. Could he use lap, lap traffic? Here comes the 63. Round up three wide for the race lead. Rob up to the point with the dive bomb. Here comes the time. Baranowski is going for second. She takes it. Almost gets spun. Caution on the track again. Unknown what the caution flag is out for. But Joseph Romanek will be a race leader. Let's take a look and see what happened. So, you, so the lights just came on in the first frame. Ah, here we go. Fitzwater got turned by, I believe, Cody Prince. Yep, just another stack up. Ryan Fox with the assist as well. Oh, Stuart Gray just missed that 71, the 82. Watch from the 40 truck of Daniel Voyles. You can't really see anything well because there's a lot of dirt. All right, now we'll watch that 71 of Stuart Grind. So we'll be right back for the restart, folks. We're back to the restart here at, at Eldora. We are going to have three laps to go when we get back to the green flag, and it's going to be a good one, people. Keep in mind, if a caution does come out before we hit the white flag, we are going into overtime. Now, I don't know if we're up three attempts or not, because this is Eldora. I forgot to add the three extra laps, making it 53. But we'll see what happens. Joseph Romnick, the race leader. Andre Baranowski, second. Davey Johnson, third. Isaac Nichols, fourth. Daniel Voyles, fifth. Watch out for Jeff Gray. He's got equal speed right now compared to the 63. This could be a huge factor in this restart. It won't be Romnick. A great restart for him. Baranowski and Davey Johnson. They start to pull away. Look at Daniel Voyles trying to sweep his way up through the middle line. Trying to get underneath the fourth truck as... Romnuck, does he get in the wall? Yes, he does! Here comes the sixth the Oh, there they go! Foyles, Johnson, Baranowskis, they all get together! Betty Watson's in it as well! Chris Giller, it's the big one here at Odor, and we are going into over overtime! The race leader, I believe, they're going to pick up the 63 truck. My, oh my, people. Now... Yeah, I, did we have two laps to go when the caution came out? Let's watch that closely again. So this is on the restart. You see Ramnock, he gets into the wall. The 40 and the 66 get together. They cross the line, I believe, before the caution lights came on. Yes, they did. So, two to go. It's still going to start to do overtime no matter what. Let's find out how this happened. This was for second position. 
Voyles on the bottom. Johnson in the middle. Barnard is up top. End of the wall. Isaac Nichols in the fourth truck. Nowhere to go. And then if we can get a nice angle list as well, this could tell us how everyone else got spun. This is a 92. 81 got turned from the 90. The 90, 92 got get turned from the 05. That's what I want to say. Got turned. Oh, 92 into the 05. Look at this. Is it just a chain reaction? The 05 almost got into the wall. So, huge championship implications right here. Watch Voyos is on board. And here's Davy Johnson will watch from the GoPro helmet cam. <laughs> Watch it, here's the four truck. This is Isaac Nichols. Just missed it. He'll line up in the second position as we are ready for overtime. Looks like two attempts today at overtime, not three. Joseph Ramanuk leads Isaac Nichols second. Brian Fox third. Aiden Shepard fourth, Audra Baranaskis is fifth. What is gonna happen? Green flag, two to go. We're in overtime. Good start by the top two. Uh, they're right in high. Look at the nine truck. Here, Joe Robin Alonzo. Where'd he come from? He's going for second on his teammate. Robin up in the wall. Alonzo to the race lane. This is the white flag. One to go on Eldora. Here comes the O2. Josh Bullitt. Robin up up in the wall. He goes. Not going to win this race. They're side by side. Out of a turn three. What is going to happen? Josh Bullitt comes off the final turn. He will be your number one seed in the chase. Or the eighth and final driver. My mistake is the caution comes out. This is interesting. I didn't see the nine and the old two in that eighth in the eighth position. Guaranteed. Looks like the caution came out for the eighty-one. But let's just make sure. Oh, the old seven truck in the pits. Watch this enemy turn one. Oh, I happened with a nineteen going around first. Brian Webb. Watch this. Gets into the Gets turned from the 98 of Jake Rogers. <clears throat> and then Webb comes up the track. And oh, the old 7, the 20, and the Super X. And look at this! Both trucks go airborne. The 22 and the Fancy goes. Both the 22 and the old 7 barrel roll. Scary accident. That's a classic dirt track accident, folks. My goodness. Now, I believe Brian Webb also went airborne as well. From an 81 of Skinner. Man, that was a hit. But watch these two trucks go over. One... Two, there's one, three, two, four, three. Five times for Ty Lyman, four times for Josh Nichols. Scary accident. Now, I, I want to watch real quick the nine and the O2. How in the world did they restart just like that? Oh, this is interesting. An illegal restart. Oh my goodness. They were on. I was pretty sure. 
They were on the lead lap. Let's look at this. The 902, 20th and 21st. They were on the lead lap. And they passed on the inside line before the restart. That is a no-no. I believe race control will strip these guys of first and second. Let's look. Very controversial finish right now, folks. On the bottom line, they took the race lead. And we are getting word from race control. The 02 and the 9, illegal restart. They lost the race, so who won? I believe it was the 4 truck. Let's look. Here's the photo finish. 13 on the bottom. Is that a 4 wide finish? Look at this. While loose, Isaac Nichols beats the 13 truck. Isaac Nichols gets the win at Eldora. He is the number one seed in the chase. With a win at Daytona and a win at Eldora, then who's the highest driver without the points that will become the 8th seed? If I am correct, I believe it will be Aiden Shepard. That's what I'm thinking. If not, Joseph Remnock. I believe it's Aiden Shepard. It's gotta be Aiden. But man, that close on a photo finish at Eldora. How about that? So Bullet and Alonzo will finish in 22nd and 23rd. They will not be counted of the win. I mean, it will count on score four, but not on Albrooks it will count. So that's going to give the win to Isaac Nichols. That's the second win of the season. And I'm just going to tissue. So your top ten is going to be Nichols, Fox, Baranaskis, Shepard, Anderson, Ramanok, Fitzwater, Johnson, Voyles, I'm sorry, Watson and Voyles. That's your top 10. So we'll get these points figured out and we'll give you a chase bracket. We'll be right back. Okay, so we have the results. <clears throat> Josh Bell and Hair Drive and Alonzo will be finishing in the 22nd in the 23rd position. Five cautions today for 25 laps, 12 lead changes among 10 different leaders. GMS Racing winning the race is a team by two points. The rookie of the race was uh, not Josh Bell or Hair Drive and Alonzo, but Brian Fock. I cannot adjust those sales, so we'll just give those rookie points to them still. I know we're going to get booed, but hey, we got to deal with it. For the awards, Daniel Voice for the pole, Joseph Ramnick led 15 laps, Airdrop and Alonzo did not gain 25 spots, Jeff Britt lost 19 spots, Michael Gregory the diehard racer, and now we generate the files. And that 8th driver in the chase is going to be Davey Johnson. But, oh, Aiden Shepard did have a win, my apologies. Um, I haven't done this in a month, so deal with it. So, with Isaac Nichols having... Two wins. This he has one. Who won the day twenty five hundred then? I thought Isaac won. Um, didn't Isaac Nichols win at day? Yeah, he did. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's two wins for Isaac. Um, so he'll be the number one seed. Number two will be Stuart Grand. Number three will be Aiden Shepard. Number four will not be Josh Bullitt, but Jeff Bright. Number five is Cody Smart. Number six, Austin LaPlante. Number seven is Dana Cole Matthew. And number eight will be Davey Johnson. So this is going to be a good chase. So we're going to calculate these points and set these guys back to 2,000, all right? So, yeah, I will be right back. Alright, so as you can see here, Isaac Nichols starts off with that six point with a three point advantage over the drivers with one win because he is he had two wins. Uh, the drivers with one win have two thousand and three points, while Davey Johnson, because he is winless this year, will be starting off with a two thousand flat. 
Here's how our chase schedule will work. Let's load up the notepad here. Alright, so here's how the chase begins. We start things off with the VFW 200 at Michigan. That is going to be probably, I don't know I don't know when these are going to be. These are the dates they were supposed to be up, but then I decided to take that break because I was so busy with school. So we start off with Michigan, Chicagoland, and Talladega. That's the Elite Eight. Then we go to Las Vegas, Texas, and Phoenix. That's now Simi 6. And the final four will be at Homestead, Miami once again. And probably soon this week, I will be announcing the next league that is coming up. So everyone be stay tuned for that. And with the win, if I look it up right now. Uh, so for the winter, I haven't even updated this. Uh, when was the last time I updated this anyway? Um, probably when Cody Smart won. <laughs> so let's take a look. When did he win? I forgot. Was it Kansas? Yeah, it was Kansas. So... Aiden Shepard is going to be in here as well. Unless he already is. He is not. Good. Aiden Shepard. Hi, Mom. Hi, you want this? Sure, please. So, Shepard, LaPlante, LaPlante, Gratton, LaPlante, Gratton. All right, you got it. Oops, I keep the wrong button. Uh, so, Austin LaPlante, Stuart Gratton, Jeff Wright, and now Isaac Nichols, who was already on there. Okay, sweet. Because um, Isaac won the All-Stars, I'm pretty sure. If I am correct. No, he won Daytona, that's the thing. Oh, I need to erase. I need to clear this out. I just, I, that's right. I forgot about um, these two, and also I gotta put the one of the all star race on here, who I believe that was um, the sub for the double zero, um, which is I believe that was Austin the Plan as well. Uh, no, it wasn't. I don't think so. Who was the sub for the double zero? Let me just make sure I'm. Finding this right here, people. Let me give me a moment. Um, who was it? Uh, I think he had an accident. Yeah. Not on here, huh? Um. Is it Lambert? No. Chase Marks? No, he's in the 41. Grayson Acevedo, that's who it was. I need to put Grayson on here. Forgot about you, bud. So yeah, that's how five drivers are in the All-Star races right now. And plus Isaac Nichols, so make that six. So yeah, next race is going to be at Michigan. I will see you guys there. Uh, Beast Boy 2 saying so long. I'll see you guys at the next race. Yellow swag. Bye, guys. I am out of here.